everyone how you doing i am robert and welcome back to another episode of sepia tears and we are back in school uh did not finish our project for lillian in our group so let's see where this goes hey there lillian uh okay so she disappears uh, suddenly, Mira drops down the priority list of things to think about. Alright. Just stay calm. Composed. Hey, Lillian. My words echo awkwardly in the empty hallway. Off to a good start. <laughs> oh, hey. You're early today. Rin is still at home, I suppose. No, she went on ahead. I think she had to discuss something with Lucas. You didn't see either of them this morning? No, not at all. Lucas is usually early too. They're planning something. They're definitely planning something. Well, I suppose it's their business. And I can tell when Rin is doing something I rather not know about. That's pretty much every day, isn't it? Anyway, they might be gone for most of the day. Guess we don't have much else to do. Oh. Uh, hey, this sounds like a pretty good setup. Uh, Lillian, what are you gonna do? Oh, um, I guess you're right. Uh, <laughs> I think she's taking the bait. Come on, Mark, you can do it. Come on, and this is why two introverts make a bad combination. What? Well, uh, maybe in some cases, but well, we could we could do better, couldn't we? Uh, what are you reading? Oh, it's a sci-fi story about clones that don't know what they're that they're clones. Okay, they find out that. Then they find out that they're clones and get all angsty and ex exist uh, existential. Uh, I can't pronounce things. That's a fantastic description. Thank you. But, well, doesn't that describe every sci-fi novel? Plus some vague dystopian metaphors, I guess. You're sort of right, but the story is wrapped up in love, a love triangle, and uh, every time there's some sort of dystopian story, there's always had to have some romance in it. God, we already made like three movies of the same thing. I say that they're the same thing, even though they're different story, different uh, stories and plots, whatever themes. No matter how you look at it, it's all the same. Teenagers these days. Oh get all sucked up in this so it's a romance novel never thought you were the type well it's a uh, is uh, what what do you mean by that uh oh that disdain mark hey you're just you're just speaking with our foot in her, mark your foot is in your mouth try something out of get yourself out of this I uh hmm you know you never really asked me what I read, so you shouldn't be so surprised. I know, I'm sorry. Man, she had to do the work for you. More importantly, you're enjoying that book. Yeah, I am. It's bittersweet, but I think there's something admirable about the heroine's courage. She's willing to face pain for a chance of happiness. Sounds like the kind of thing fictional character would do. Well said. Ah! Didn't get to finish the chapter. And that was loud. My ears! <sighs> it's alright. I can do it later. See you at lunch then. Alright. Something rises in my throat and chokes away any words that could have followed. As you can judge for yourself, from this chapter, the monetary policy that was in place during the 
Another day, another doll history lecture. I'm bored, let's look outside. It's because of this mentality that I never get anywhere in school. It's a bright day, but also a normal day. Hmm, that won't do me much good. Say, is that Lucas? I see, I see a figure lying in the snow taking some sort of wide angle photo of the field behind the school. The figure also happens to be wearing Lucas's jacket. Hence the deduction. Huh. This is more unusual than it seems. See, Lucas isn't a photographer. He's anything but a photographer. Man, you definitely have a boring day. Because you're looking in the clouds and imagining Lucas with the photo, with the with the camera, taking pictures of who knows what. I don't know, maybe Donkey Dong or something. The thought of him going out of his way to create art that can't wear twin tails is absurd. Then again, he's a pretty absurd person. Later that decade, technological advancements allowed. Oh boy. Teachers going on technology. Hmm, guess I'd better try to pay attention. Huh, I think that was like the word of the day or something for you. History, economics, money, spending money, presents, holiday season. Oh crap, I haven't bought a single Christmas present yet, have I? Lillian. She's not picky, so anything should be fine. But I want something more than just fine. Sigh. This is dumb. Lunchtime arrives after a short but painfully dull class, but something is odd. I look to my left, nothing. I look to the right, nothing. I look in front of me, still nothing. Probably behind? Where is everyone? Could Rin and Lucas po possibly be planning something that occupies even their lunch break? Yeah, usually you have your sis or Lucas or whoever. Probably Lillian bother you, but it just seems, uh, you know, nothing's happening. Well, peace and quiet isn't bad. The only downside is that it'll be just me and li- Uh oh. Yeah, my, my heart is beating, your heart is beating again. Is, is this Lillian from the supernatural? Oh wait. Probably it was just me. I was he I'm hearing things. Hmm. Where are the others? Good question. Well, that's odd, isn't it? We're talking about Ren and Lucas. Of course it's odd. So I guess you never figured out what they were planning. Well, I can't say... I can't quite say that I figured it out. But I made an interesting observation this morning. Observation? It wasn't as much as an observation as it was a random coincidence. You see, I was looking out the window. They're in class? Err. Uh, anyway, I was looking out the window and I was. Uh, and I saw something interesting. Saw so what happened next. Did you go outside? Uh, no. But I kept looking, and there was a strange guy lying in the ground, on the ground, taking pictures. Why do I get the feeling you're trying to find an excuse for not paying attention during class? I'm not lying, really. I should write that one down. Hmm. I can't say that I know you're where you're going with this. Well, I think the guy was Lucas. Why? Because he was wearing Lucas's jacket. Hmm, maybe Lucas has a brother? I'm slightly worried about the answer to this question, but could you not have jumped to the point three minutes ago? Okay, here's an idea. Why don't we go look around? He must have been taking a picture of something, right? Normally I would say no, but... It isn't like him to skip school. I'll come along. Alright then. 
the to the winter wonderland of the back of the school. Wait, we're going outside. Can we just look for them upstairs? Forget windows. Let's go see the real thing. <laughs> wait, uh, wait for me. I grabbed onto Lillian's arm without thinking and pulled her towards the staircase leading outside. It only occurs to me for a moment that neither of us have our jackets. Oh, this must be freezing. Mark, it's freezing! How far was he? <laughs> uh, he was right here, but the hills were particularly blocked. My view were blocking my view, so we'll have to go a bit further to be sure. Didn't you say you were curious? And she falls silent. I guess I was right. Just a bit more. Over one last hill. A few more paces. Ha! We made it! Looks like we made it! Oh yeah. Uh, after a perilous trek through the dark side of the school, which took a total of two minutes, we arrive at a peculiar site. It's a snowman. You sound surprised? No, not really. I just thought there would be something more. Knowing them, you'd expect some sort of hidden joke or ulterior to mo artillery, artillery, uh, motive. <sighs> I'm always getting my tongue twisted and I don't know why. Maybe it's this morning. I don't know. Maybe there is one. Maybe? It's kind of cute. Lillian wraps her arms around the humanoid lump of snow. Ha! <laughs> oh, what an adorable cartoon. Uh, weren't you freezing a moment ago? <laughs> but it's so cute. Come on, just look at his puffy body and cartoony eyes. It doesn't matter if it's made of snow. Hey, he's more than twice your height. Hold on a sec. This snowman seems suspicious. I wouldn't get too close, wouldn't you? Well, let's see where this goes. I don't think that's a fair comparison. <laughs> Still, doesn't it make you feel all warm and fuzzy? You look good together. I'm happy for you. <laughs> I get the feeling I shouldn't ask. What are you thinking right now? No worries. I won't get in the way. Oh, you just don't understand what it means to like cute things. Maybe I would if I saw anything cute in a pile of snow shaped vaguely like a human being. Killjoy. <laughs> Hey look, you're the one that's like, uh, not making sense with the snowman. I think her hands are cold. Um, okay. I think I'm back now. Oh, for a second there, I thought you were lost in the cuteness. Thank God. I thought you were gone for good. But what's with the sh shaky shake? Did I get- ouch. Lillian, you're so violent. So you think the guy was Lucas? I'm pretty sure. I'll ask him. But there aren't uh, many people who do strange things for no apparent reason. And you think he was with Rin, right? I thought he'd do it by himself. And he's not the type to have a mysterious girlfriend. A mysterious girlfriend? Hmm. Anyway. I think it's safe to say that the two of them are desperately trying to dry their socks right about now. You're probably right. We should head back too, before someone gets sick. Would that someone be the one who went on a snowman hugging spree? Uh, you're always teasing her, aren't you, huh, Mark? Well, I can see that you do like her. Hmm. It was only one. That's barely a spree. So it was an isolated incident of snowman hugging, duly noted. Oh, the, the constant teasing. Alright, 
What now? It's called lunch break for a reason, you know? You can just eat lunch, but where's the fun in that? There's not much fun in eating, I suppose. Exactly. Why don't we take a walk around the school? Maybe something exciting will happen. Exciting? Will I regret it if I ask what you have in mind? Probably not, since I don't really know what I have in mind. I regret it already. Anyway, it doesn't really matter, does it? Anything better than sitting still? I can name a few things that are. Like what? Like eating. Hmm. I didn't think you'd be the type, Lillian. How gluttonous. I have a 700 page book in my bag. So, shall we eat then? <sighs> Alright, fine. I'll leave it up to you. Let's search for whatever it was you wanted to search for. I knew you'd understand. Now I just had to figure out where to go. Uh, did you finish the story you were working on? Not yet. I made some good progress the other day though. The protagonist is a bit whiny, but I'm not sure what to do about it. Isn't everybody an insecure teenager at heart? Ding ding ding! You got it right! That's pretty much how everyone is in this story, in this game, and every other novel and film made from it. Everyone's, yep, secure, insecure, whiny, bratty, moody, silent hearted, whatever. That's all you're gonna get from a teen teenage movie in a dystopian world and with romance and all that hot garbage. I don't know. I sorry teenagers, but I just have to say it like that because it doesn't because it's all the same thing and it doesn't get interesting. Yeah. I bet insecure teenagers are insecure teenagers at heart. Not sure about the rest of us. I'll refrain from thinking about which category I belong in. It's a tricky problem to deal with, but I'll figure it out. Too bad midterms are coming up. Midterms? That's right. <laughs> uh oh, the shock. The shocking face. Uh, I knew there was some something I had to do today. You were supposed to come over and study, weren't you? It's sad, but true. You know, you can't escape. You have to start working now unless you're serious about failing. Normally I disagree, but at this point I think I really do need to study. You know, by the 10th grade, you should be... Wait, what? Did you just say what I think you said? I think he totally agrees with you. Something about pigs flying? <laughs> but, 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 you... You said it, right? I wasn't hearing things. I said that I really do need to study. Her happiness has physically manifested itself around her head. I can see all those puffy uh, pink clouds around her face. Or we're just probably just imagining it ourselves. Well, what can I say? I suppose I've matured. I, I can't believe it. This day, the 13th of December, shall be etched in the an annals of history. <laughs> I'm gonna pronounce it like that. I'm not gonna say it like the other way. At last, you take your first step of the path of adulthood. I could have been like this all along if I wanted to. I just didn't want to. That's true. But looking at your previous grades, a revelation like this really could be a turning point for you. Turning point? You know, it's not like I'm a failure or anything, I'm just... Hang on a moment. How exactly did you see my previous grades? Ah, uh, stalker. Let's just say that Ren and I are on good terms. Oh, that devious little sister of yours. Well, can't say anything about that. 
In any case, it's alright. If I come over today, right? Yes, of course. I'm looking forward to it. Is something wrong? I'm fine. Really. Mostly. It doesn't matter. Let's eat. You're right. I'll meet you later. Sure. Alright. So... Um... You're really early again. Are you sure you're not forgetting anything? Okay. So this is a good starting stopping point where I'll leave it off. Um, if you like this video, please leave a like and comment. If you want to see more videos like this, uh, subscribe to this channel. And uh, more other video contests will arrive to you. What not. Anyways, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye